Hey there, it's Dawn from BlessingsForMom.com. Today I want to show you how you can make your own bath salts using the Young Living Therapeutic Grade Oils. Um, one great benefit of using the Young Living Oils in your bath salts would be you be getting the medicinal purposes of that particular oil in addition to just the relaxing bath um, or foot soak. Um, we use our soaks, our salts all the time for foot soak, my daughter and I. We absolutely love that. Actually, I have my son do it every once in a while too because he once in a while will get ingrown toenails and this clears it up really quickly. Anyway, um, when you are in a bath and you're using Young Living essential oils, then you are actually getting it through your skin and also you're breathing in the vapors. And with that combination is the quickest way to get any oil into your system and actually reap every possible benefit from it at, your, at the same time. Okay, now I have made some up already, and these are the favorite ones for us to make. We do um, Joy, and I actually made this, these little tags on it that just says, you know, what it is. And then I also do a tag that says Everyday Uses for Joy, or whatever it happens to be. And it kind of talks a little bit about each oil, so that way they know other than just liking the smell, what might be a great benefit for them. So I also have the Awaken, then Lavender, and Peppermint. Lavender seems to be the most popular. Um, I actually am making these as teacher gifts this year, um, but I've also had some people actually purchase some from me. So if you're interested in purchasing them, by all means, absolutely. I'd be more than happy to help you. I can do the legwork for you. Um, but I got to be honest, it's so quick and easy that if you already have your therapeutic grade essential oil, you can do this nice and easy. Okay, all you're going to do is you need a container. Make sure it is glass with Young Living Therapeutic Grade Oils. It will pull out the imperfections out of plastic and it'll actually go into whatever you're eating, drinking, using, whatever. So it will actually get into the salt. So we don't want that. Um, so the canning jars are great. I use those. I also get some decorative containers from the Dollar Tree and, you know, can't beat it for a dollar and just make sure that it does completely seal. If it doesn't seal, then you're going to lose over time those essential oil benefits. Okay, so nice and easy. I'm going to make lavender because I use this little container for my daughter because otherwise she would pour the whole container into one bath if I let her and that would be kind of crazy and wasteful to use that size container. So I have this little itty bitty container for her. And all you're going to do is you're going to take Epsom salt, which, you know, I got mine at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm all about budgeting and trying to pay attention to what I'm spending. So this is a great thrifty project for me. Okay, so I just cut a little edge over on it and I'm going to do a third cup of salt. And it doesn't have to be exact, guys. It's a just kind of put it in and I'm going to do two drops of oil. So for every third cup of salt, I'm going to do two drops of oils and then I actually close it up and shake it up. Now, if you're using an oil that is colored, um, like Valor or Peace and Calming, anything like that that has a color to it, you may want to have a fork handy. Um, over time, it's going to dissipate into the other salts, but, you know, it does clump up a little bit. And those colored ones, you're actually going to see the color on particular sections of the oil, of the salts. So, and then again, you're just going to do a third cup. Dump it in. And two drops of oil. Now, you don't have to just stick to one type of oil. You can make combinations. I've heard of people doing um, a stress relief one to where they will combine several different oils. And I will post um, under this some different combinations that would be great combinations to work with. 
Um, what's nice with the Young Living Oils is that they do have several blend options. So you can get away with just doing a blend, but of course it's fun to mix, especially if you have kids helping you. Um, I have Lexi do this with me as a project when we were putting together the Christmas gifts, and, um, and she just had so much fun. It was almost like a science project for her. So anyway, that's all that's to it. Nice and easy. Um, it's going to last, and the only thing you have to be careful with is if you have your kids, make sure they don't, you know, knock them to the ground because it is a glass container. Um, use one to three tablespoons of the salts in your bath, depending on how strong you want it to be, or if you're using it just to relax, or if you're using the medicinal property. So that's totally up to you. Um, I can tell you I generally do three tablespoons so I have a little scooper um, in our bath and in our bathroom and that way I can just do three scoops and I'm done. Um, if I'm doing my feet I generally do one to two scoops depending on if we are looking at it you know just to relax regular relaxing spa pedicure with my daughter or if um, one of us may have an ingrown toenail or you know an, a sore on our foot or something going on then I may add more. So that's what we're looking at. I hope you learned a lot today, and I hope you feel like you can actually do this on your own, because trust me, it is a lot of fun and so worth doing. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.